It is a beautiful afternoon, or I guess it's before noon still. It's only 11.30. Um, but this is our lunch on March 19th, 2018. And um, the grapes aren't looking so hot. But the soup looks beautiful. And that can be cooked right in the microwave if you care to. It's very easy. It doesn't take any more time than cooking a package of Mr. Noodles. You just... Um, slice up all your veggies like I've put let's see what did I put in here I put a little bit of ancho chili powder I put um, the shirataki yam noodles so you could see the calories on those is almost nothing and um, some peas like the whatever the snap peas or whatever and broccoli and radishes grated up with carrots grated up and water chestnuts grated uh, what else did I grate into there? I'm not sure. Anyway, ginger, garlic, and I put it in a broth um, made out of um, shiitake mushrooms. So, like when you're soaking your dried shiitake mushrooms to make them usable again, um, you have this wonderful broth and it makes great soup. And it tastes sort of beefy. Well, to me, I, you know, honestly, I wouldn't know. So, um, maybe ask James. But the thing is, is this is somewhat equivalent to having a package of Mr. Noodles, right? It doesn't take any more time. And the calories on this is almost nothing for, like, you can see the, um, sheer attacking noodles are just barely have any cal calories at all it doesn't count and um, you have all this nutritious um, vegetable and mushroom ingredients in here right whereas if you have the mr. noodles that's what you're getting um, like this is beef flavored I pulled this package out somebody gave this to me and I'm very thankful for it but um, I mean you might be surprised to find out it's uh there's artificial beef flavor in there it's not even beef there's no beef in this um if you're a ovo lacto vegetarian and you're not too uh worried about the fact that there might be fish shellfish in there um you can go for the beef um i mean whatever but the calories on this is huge like um Per half package, which nobody would ever eat a half package, it's 190 calories. So you might be on a diet and think, oh, well, I'm just going to put 190 calories down on my thing when you eat one of these. And you're eating a whole package. And you're going to try to con yourself that way, just like they're trying to con you that way, frankly. Um, but you have this, and there's less calories in this whole thing than there would be in the Mr. Noodles. And I'm getting so much more nutrition. This is nutrient dense version for fewer calories. So um, anyway, that there I think. I think I've got it. Anyway, so James is coming out to eat and he timed it just right today. And I mean, that's the difference having this rather than this is the difference between being 130 pounds which is fine right and being this is a size extra small dress so <coughs> anyway let's see what James thinks of it I'll serve him up some steaming off the griddle like. yes it yeah, looks it's beautiful great. out <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be plus six tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I think it's pretty much it for winter. Yeah. <laughs> See what you think of that. Well, I know, I broke it. Oh, that's... that's uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, everything falls out of my hands. It's a, the lid on this casserole is broken now because it fell out of my hands at some point. Oh, it's just got character. <laughs> it's 
still works. It made me feel bad when I did it because, I mean, I use the, it all the time. I, I mean, it's always How long going through it? the dishwasher when I'm, huh? How long you had it? Like 15 years? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I know. It's I've got it, my use out of it, but I just I feel bad because I do use it all the time. So when I finally break it, I'm going to have to get another one just like it. Well, it's a whole lot safer than using plastic. Yeah. Yeah, stuff. that really does want to tip over, doesn't it? Ah, it looks like it, but... Ah, it already fell on the floor once through my I'm fingers and it broke. left. It I was know. Uh, yeah. not a hard, high fall. You were just sitting down, right? You weren't standing up. Mm-hmm. No. But yeah, I could tell you enjoyed that one. I don't know if you got your use out of that. It didn't cost much money, right? You just no, got I got it in a, a bag sale from the Salvation Army, and I was very thrilled to get it because it's fun and useful and I can keep it on the sofa with me and I just tuck it in like so and it doesn't spill yeah. or in between a pillow or whatever. <laughs> so it's very useful. So when I broke that it had a little sleeve on the outside to keep your drink cold when and that broke off when I dropped it. Too but bad. it's still usable and I could fix it somehow. But um I just have to get some sort of a glue that would glue the plastic back together or whatever. And I might do that sometime. But, um, seeing as it seems to be tippy on the surface now, maybe I should. But, yeah, I didn't pay very much for it. But again, use it every day, right? So I, when I break the things that I use very often, I feel... Mm. I also grated cabbage into this. I think I did. I mention the garlic and ginger. I don't know. But no, there's some good. sort of. Hmm? I think I'm tasting the garlic. There's some. Mm. I only put two cloves. Mm-hmm. So is it good or just good enough? Yeah, it's uh, good enough. Good enough. Uh, well, I blew you, it. No, you didn't. Is this a recipe that you got from somewhere? No, I just made it up. You just made it up. Here's the deal. Mm. You know, I don't like dairy. Mm -hmm. But if you got broccolis and cabbage, it's screaming for dairy, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Not saying? Not for me. Not for you? Mm -mm. Okay. What is screaming for for me? Well, what I mean is something cheesy, right? Cheesy is topping. sesame. Mm. Sesame oil. I would like that in it. But I haven't been eating oil lately, so I'd have to just go for seeds, <clears throat> which might be good. Maybe I could, like, stir some tahini into it or something. Just something to thicken it up, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. So we're thinking oh, I could have put miso way. in it. It's not salty. It needs salt. Ah, maybe that's, that's it. That's what it I is. I don't know what it is. See, like, I was thinking cheese. If I cheese. put miso in it, that, yeah. yeah, you were thinking cheese because of the salt. Because of the salt. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So when you make it, put some salt in. I forgot. Mm. Yeah, it just seemed that's a little bland. That would, that would be it. In whatever form you want, like some soy sauce if you like soy sauce, or yep. miso. Okay, be good. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. You want me to get you a little bit of salt, and you see? Well, if it's not too much bother. No, it's not. It's very easy. Maybe you can tell the our family or whoever might be watching about something interesting you've learned lately. Uh, my my learned. Ah, oh, what have I learned?
we couldn't think of anything exciting to talk about? Uh, well, I don't know. It's, uh, anything Try I've learned out. exciting would take about half an hour to explain. That would just mm. be an introduction. Thanks. Sure. Yeah, I'd prefer miso in this one. What do you think? Probably miso. You didn't like the soy sauce? It tastes pretty good. Mm. I don't know. Would you mind if I had more in it? Yep, go mm. ahead. Have it all. I think some of it ended up on my pants. Maybe that's why. <laughs> no, I just... um. I haven't been using soy sauce anymore. Mm. So. Well, you've been trying to thin out your blood, right? Well, no, I haven't been. What? Yeah, um, I haven't been eating soy unless it's in miso. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. There is a fair amount of salt in mm -hmm. soy sauce. That's too large to the whole idea. Of it. It's amazing how it darkens stuff, eh? Put a little bit on mm -hmm. it. I don't know how it does it. Still not salty enough? Well, it could be saltier, but it's uh, considerably improved. So it's an experiment in progress, right? Mm hmm No, I think it's a good start for a dish. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's way healthier this way. Oh, it's pretty I healthy. I don't want yeah. you eating this. Eating the Mr. Mr. Noodles? Mr. Noodles. No. I know it's easy to make, but... Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's easy for them to make. That's a problem. Because artificial beef flavor. Like, I know. what is that? I don't know. It's funny, eh? Of course, it's got monosodium glutamate. Mm -hmm. And it's fairly high up the food list, which indicates there's a lot of it. Yeah, it's above the sugar and soy sauce powder. Oh, yeah. Dry, and way above dried leek. Mm -hmm. They've chucked citric acid in, but that seems to be a common thing. Is that a preservative? Mm -hmm. Is that the deal? They have that a lot of dog food, don't they? Which maybe says a lot about what this stuff is. Be a bit of a counter ad for Mr. Noodles. Mm -hmm. Well, not much of one. You still don't like this. <laughs> what was that? You still don't like this dinner I made. Mm. Mm. You look like it pretty good. Yeah. It's got some salt in it. Yeah. I'm realizing now, to a large extent, that's what makes soup. It's just the saltiness. I guess we like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like salt. Salt and fat. Mm -hmm. you, you prefer sugar and fat, I think. I mean, well, I'd probably prefer it, but... Uh, you know, I like uh, I like chips. I won't say as much as anyone, but I sure like them. Yeah. Once I start on the pack, it's gone. So. Yeah. 
why it's best to go with small packs, those big giant packs they were making. Mm -hmm.